Welcome back, everyone. I'm the Depressed Eeyore, and this is Magical Diary. Hopefully, uh, I was about to say my, uh, you know, ending video speech. Anyway, where we last left off, uh, we joined a conspiracy, which is awesome, because we're going to take over the world, I swear. And, uh, actually, it's right here. Oh, yeah, I get pissed off. Thunder Call Dance. Conspirator. Making it so secret society. And there we go. Alright, let's go ahead and continue. What should I do this week? Study. Okay. Something wrong? Kind of. I told Professor Postum I had told her to do it. To do what? To make my family forget about me. For good. Oh. I can't go back. I don't belong there anymore. They'll be happier without me. But will you be happier without them? Probably. I mean, I'll miss them, but I'll miss the way they used to be. I can't be happy living with people who don't want me there. You deserve to be appreciated. Yeah. So, um, do you want to stay with my family? I don't think that would be a good idea. Why not? Because if I went to stay with you, it would be, be like we were sisters. Oh. Uh, well, you could, uh, be my secret girlfriend. I don't want it to be a secret. I want us to have a chance to date properly, not as roommates. I'll miss you over the summer, though. You'll write to me, won't you? Of course. I guess it's important to do, uh... F to her to do this right. Studying. More studying. I noticed that Ellen is still in bed, well, after her usual time to, uh, get up on a weekday. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine, I'm just staying in today. You're slacking off? Maybe I'm rubbing off on you. Today is Good Friday. Oh. That's not an official holiday here, though. I know, I just thought it would be nice to have a quiet day. I guess that makes sense. Study. On Saturday morning, the mail allowances are delivered. What should I do today? Study. And no mini. So that's the end of the week again, so we'll go ahead and save. And let's continue. There's not much... <laughs> we're not learning any new spells, we're just getting more and more mana. What should I do this week? Study, study, sleep, study, study. As I'm walking across the grounds, I see a group of people up ahead near a makeshift sign. When I get closer, I see that it reads, Dance Lessons, $20. Dance Lessons? Jacob suddenly steps out from the crowd and bows to me. That's the name of the game. I promise to make you lighter on your feet so you can make a better showing at the May Day Ball. How exactly? I'll dance with you, give you a few pointers. Isn't $20 a little a bit high price for a single dance? I'm worth every dime. No, really, it's a fundraiser every class is expected to contribute to the ball. And since this is the first formal dance some people will have to will have been to, this will give them a chance to polish off those rough edges. Mm. Sure. Alright, let's see what you got. Now step up close and put your hand on my shoulder like so. He actually is a pretty good dancer. Not only does he know the steps to lead, but he knows a lot of flourishes usually performed by the following dancer. Well enough to give instructions and demonstrate. After a few min min uh, minutes, he can make me spin in and out of his embrace and dip me backwards until I'm dizzy and giggly. We get a uh, round of applause as we finish. I guess that wasn't a total waste. We got 10 cute. Or was it 5 cute? I don't know. Okay, and we reduced our stress. More studying. I don't think we're gonna make 100 smart. There's just not enough days. You only get one per, uh, study. Continue studying. Sorry for the frame rate. Still no mini. Not much to say here, so I'm just gonna save. Kinda just going through the, the, the motions at this point. There's probably more events, but I... I don't know. Maybe it's just getting ready for the final exam. Let's go next week. This is 
is it, the end of the school year. Two more days of classes, then final exams, then the ball, and then we go home. Study and study. Yeah, it's getting, the frame rate's actually getting a little bit more noticeable. It's kind of annoying. On Tuesday morning, someone knocks at her door. Uh -oh. Good morning, here are your exam schedules for the day. She hands us a piece of paper. Wait, there's a mistake. We're all scheduled at the same time. Didn't you know the final, uh, the final is a group exam? Does that mean if one of us fails, we all fail? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Good thing I got my AOE spell. Oh. <laughs> After the class period, we arrive for our exams as instructed. All three of us. Hello, my spirited fillies. Today's exam works a bit differently than usual. You're all go going into the dungeon together. Your task is to find the crystal orb and use your energy to light it up before time runs out. It will not be easy to find, and you will face many dangers, so you need to work together to conquer this challenge. Good luck. She claps her hands, and the world starts to spin. For a moment, after the teleport, I'm not sure what's happened all around this complete blackness. Am I in a dungeon? Am I lost somewhere in the void? I'm standing on something, I think. Then Alan casts a light spell, and our surroundings become dimly visible. We are in a vast dark space, empty and silent, far from any wall or landmark. Put that light out, it might attract monsters. But we can't see. If we huddle around it, the light won't get, get far. We crouch closer together. Okay, now what? We wait for a moment, uh, moment, but this time no booming voice speaks overhead. Apparently, Professor Postrum's instructions are all we get, uh, that we get. The rest is up to us. Well, let's see which way we need to go. She casts a spell on the air around us, uh, swirls faintly. That's strange, it's, that's, that usually gives me a direction. I guess we'll have to look at the hard way. The crystal has to be out there uh, somewhere. This place is huge. We have a timeline. We need a plan. I have an idea. They both stop and look at each other. We need to find the crystal. That's the goal. That's how we win. We need to find the boss monster. There's bound to be one. If we don't handle the main threat, he could sneak up on us. No one's right. It's the, crystals, the crystal that matters. We could defeat dozens of monsters and still fail at the exam if we don't reach the goal in time. I don't know about dozens, but I like to try. Some other time. Sure, fine. So how do we do this? We don't know how big this place is, but it's obviously pretty big, and there's a time limit, so I think the trick here is going to be figuring out how to search most efficiently. Do you guys know Safar Speech? No. Me neither. Oh. <laughs> well, I can't. I can probably keep a connection with both of you. I just haven't tried it before, but I'm sure it'll be fun. Um, I think you get far Speech through Blue Magic. Going, uh, what I'm going to do is touch your minds, your mind here while we're together. Then we can keep that contact going. We can split up and still find each other later. Okay. I can feel Alan's slots like a child tapping on my head for attention. I relax and let her in. How long will this last for? I'm not sure, but if the connection drops, stop what you're doing and hold still. That way you'll you'll be still be in a known location that we can reestablish. Anyway, we should move out. There are probably traps, so don't run. And use protection spells if you have them. If you see anything, crystals, monsters, anything, stay still and think it. You know, this, some of this advice would have been nice on like honor in my first few exams. Let's go. We split up and moving through the darkness. There's an awful lot of uh, darkness out there. If I do not use any detection spells, I'll have to cast them. If I do use any detection spells, I'll have to cast them many times over to uh, do any good. Alright, so we get the choice of casting some spells. Um, we can do Track Scent, but I don't know. That will require something to actually pass by where we're at. I don't know, let's try Track Scent. I check for the Scent Trails as I move. Needs up some more magic. There are definitely at least three monsters somewhere in this dungeon. I'm not exact exactly what kind, nothing I've sensed before. That information doesn't help me find the crystal or avoid traps though, but if I follow these tracks, it's at least possible that the monsters will be near the goal. I get turned around a few times. I think there's some sort of enchantment uh, changing my path, but between tracking and my mental contacts, I can't get too lost. We each creep around, comparing notes on what we've, we're seeing, and at long last, we strike pay dirt. There's a strong magical signature in one direction, which must be the crystal we're looking for. Unfortunately, there's a group of monsters in the near vicinity. We can go around them, but we if we get to the crystal, they'll probably notice us. 
No one's assist that violence is not the best answer, but there are too many of them to teleport them away. Someone will have to act as a lure and get them to leave the crystal alone. And actually, since I'm the best runner, the job of bait fail falls to me. My job is to find the monsters, get just close enough for them to nose me, then run like a rabbit. When I get far enough, Alan will teleport me. Of course, that sounds a lot easier as a plan when than when I've actually got shadows snapping at my heels. I'm pretty fast, but so are they, and I might need to slow the slow down so the teleport can grab me safely. One of them managed to slash me with its claws. I'm gonna die. Hurry up, Ellen. Another bro blow. This isn't good. <laughs> Finally, I feel the teleportation take hold. Amelia, are you okay? Sort of. What went wrong? I ran out of energy. I had to get Virginia's help to teleport you, so it took longer than I planned. Sorry. I'm hurt. I think I'm down to 20% health, but if this is the crystal we're looking for, it won't matter anymore. So this is it? Looks magical, alright. So how do we make it work? I don't know. She said we should put our energy into it. Look, there are little indentations uh, around the edge. I think if I think we put our hands in there. Avenger steps closer and touches the rim of the pedestal. Energy sparkles to life within the crystal. My turn now. I feel a strange rushing sensation as power flows out of me into the crystal. I lost a little magic from that. And finally, Ellen approaches the crystal. Uh, the crystal. I don't think I have enough magic left to light it, light it up. Does that mean we lose? Not necessarily. I can take power from one of you if you have enough strength. Virginia shrugs. Sure, go for it. Casts a spell and draws magical energy out of Virginia. Then she uh, touches the crystal, causing it to throb and sparkle with light. Is that it? Are we done? The familiar sensation of teleportation washes over us. We find ourselves standing in the sunlight on the main quad. Congratulations, all of you. You have successfully completed your freshman year. That'll be five minutes for each of you. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm still in negatives. Now, go and relax. You have a dance coming up to enjoy. We did it. We're done. There are no classes today or tomorrow. Everyone's relaxing, making plans for the dance, and getting their pictures taken for the great yearbook. Funny, at my sc uh, school, picture day was near the beginning of the year, but here it's almost literally last minute. The whole thing has to be finished overnight. This is it, the last day. After the dance, my parents will come and take me home, which means I need to sort out what I'm doing for the dance. All this time, Ellen's been telling me to wait, to keep quiet, to keep the secret. Maybe now, at last, we can we can get started. Um, Ellen? Eek! She grabs a box I had barely noticed and shoves it under a pillow on her on her bed. Um, hi. You couldn't have knocked. But I live here. And that is exactly why I wanted to wait. How am I supposed to have any secrets to surprise you with if you if you're in my room watching me get dressed? I won't peek. You're not supposed to see my dress until you meet me for the dance. Meet you? That's how a date works, right? We could each give each other a corsage, but I don't think Professor Potsdam would like it if uh, we tore up the flowers. Right. So, if I'm su not supposed to see you get dressed, and I'm supposed to meet you somewhere else in order to escort you to the dance, we're escorting each, each other. Well, where am I supposed to get dressed? Oh, right. I hadn't thought of that. I guess I can get dressed in the bathroom. But you might get your clothes dirty. Well, what would you suggest? She looks back and forth between the bed and me. How about you turn your back and let me sneak out of here, and then I'll get dressed in Lena's or Pastel's room. I'm sure she won't mind. I'll meet you in front of the gym this evening, alright? Alright. It's really rather cute seeing her take charge like this. So now I need to get ready. This is my ball dress. Put it on. And you apparently can choose the colors. There's no black. That's a little annoying. Alright, well, we'll go with that. Oh, there's a black. Okay, so this is the color and that's the brightness. Okay, we'll go with that. So there we go, done. I wait in the darkness for my date to arrive. Trophy urn, prom date. Um, Romelia? 
Do I look alright? You look adorable. Thanks. You look pretty nice, too. So, what now? I guess we go in. Um, she holds out her hand to me, saying nothing except with her eyes. I place my palm over hers and squeeze her hand. Let's go. The ceiling shimmer, shimmers with translucent uh, rainbow spheres, like enormous soap bubbles that never burst. The walls are masked with climbing ivy, ivy, and the stage is surrounded with flowers. The girl standing on the stage, I think, she's a senior in Snake Hall, wears a long dress, white dress, and a wreath of flowers and silver stars. No one is dancing yet. Instead, we all wait in a slowly moving line. Every guest at the dance, either alone or with air de date or dates in some cases, must process across the gym floor. Oh, process. Oh well. Must process across the uh, gym floor and bow or curtsy to the Queen of the May. Then they stand aside, and the next subject approaches. It means everyone has a moment in the spotlight to show off clothing and partners. Helen's hand is warm in mine, and the smile on her face is radiant. We curtsy and withdraw. We wait quietly for the, with the rest of the students as the processions uh, continue. The very last girl to walk up the aisle is a junior that I don't know, whose hair is both blonde and pink at the same time. Instead of curtsying before the stage, she walks up the stairs and kneels before the queen, who places the crown of flowers on her head. Everyone applauds, and then the music begins. You know, I don't actually have a lot of experience with dancing, especially with a girl. Well, I don't know everything either. We both look at each other, confused and shy, and suddenly Ellen laughs. I wish I knew everything. Even if it meant t uh, turning into Professor Potsdam? That wouldn't be so, so bad. Maybe, but I'd r much rather be here with you than uh, with her. Oh. Why are you here with me? I mean, I know you said, but... But what? It's hard to believe that anyone would want to be d uh, dancing with me, be dating me, except for, as a joke. You think I... No, not really. I don't think you're that like that, but... I know how I always wanted things to be, and I know how things usually are. I kept putting you off and saying I had a good reason, but mostly I was giving you time to change your mind or get involved with someone else. And then it wouldn't be your fault, uh, be my fault, and it wouldn't be your fault. It, we could just let it go, and I could remember the romance we almost had. No hard feelings. Do you want me to leave? No. Life has gotten kind of complicated lately, and every time I think I've got a handle on it, it changes again. I like knowing how things work. I like doing things the right way. But I also know that if I want to learn, I have to try. So I'd like to try dancing with you now. Good. So who leads? I lead. You've got better hips. Together we take the floor. I put my hands on Ellen's shoulders, blushing slightly at the warmth of her skin. Her cheeks are pink too, but her eyes are sparkling at me. As the song goes on, we relax, moving together more and com uh, more comfortably. Finally it ends, and we stand there, smiling at, at each other. So, if this were a perfect storybook romance, what would happen now? Are you sure you want to find out? I'm sure. Well then, something like this. She leaned forward and kisses me soft and sweet. Flushed from the dance, the warmth and the nearness of her, I kiss her back. So yeah, that picture's probably going to be in the gallery. When we finally part, I half expect the room to break out into in, uh, applause. But why should they? We're just a perfectly normal couple going about the, our lives. Just a couple dancing together, surrounded by sp uh, sparkles and a night of magic. Amelia Scarlet plus Ellen Middleton. I didn't know her last name was Middleton. Ellen dance photo now added to a gallery. To, to the gallery. So there you go. Oh, they look so great together. And so the school year came to an end. Trophy earned sophomore. We, we were freshmen no longer. Over the summer, we would look back at our yearbooks and remember the friends we had made while thinking about the adventures still to come. There's a lot of magic out there waiting. And there you go. This is pretty much the end. Um, this is my yearbook, the um, Rock Breaker. Yeah, you end up getting a, a year, yearbook entry, and you can see all my stats. It shows the stats without the items, apparently, so it's not exactly right. Um, romance, Ellen, 
It shows your merits, your romance, future career, which is Rock Breaker. I guess that has to do with the fact I'm using black magic. Um, voted most likely to go regimental, whatever that means. In dreams and in love, everything is possible, Ellen. Horses forever, Virginia. See you next year, Mini Cor Cochran. And there's the Upload Yearbook page. Um, I don't know how this actually works. I'm a little nervous that if I click on this, it's going to bring me to a different window. So let me go ahead and cut this off for a brief moment, and I'll be right back. Okay, it um, it didn't bring me to another window. It, I'll see if I can do it again. I don't think it will. Okay, it did. Um, okay, it also did it at a different address. Um, what happened? It'll say your yearbook uh, page has been posted. You can view at this address. Your yearbook code is this, which just matches that. If you click on this, it'll actually open a um, your your uh, your uh, internet or whatever, and uh, it'll actually show you the page. So there it is. Um, because I did it twice, um, the the one I did originally uh, that I did off camera, it was three three nine one seven, and this one's three three nine one eight. No, no big difference, but um, that's what the original was. So it's the same character, so it shouldn't show anything different. So there you go. It's kind of interesting that it has something like this. Um, it's it's kind of a neat little thing. It's just. Um, I mean, it's nothing like fantastic or great or anything, but it's like, um, it's like, it's kind of like, um, how in, um, what's that game called? Like the Mass Effect games, where at the end of the game you make your save and it carries over and stuff. It's not quite that level, but it's something similar. And the fact that, you know, you can show everyone, hey, this is what happened in my school year almost. Which is, um, I like it. It's a nice touch uh, for, for this sort of game. So, I'll go ahead and click on that, and we'll go ahead and end the game. There you go, that's the end of the game. And if we go to our trophies, we got our Ben Kissed. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've gotten the Ben Kissed um, achievement if um, I hadn't done the other one. We got Conspiracy, Prom Date, Sophomore, and all that stuff. Well, at least I got the, uh, the Prom Date. <laughs> For a second, I thought I was going to not get anyone because of how um, Misanthropo was kind of making the character in the beginning. So at least I got to show some stuff off, and it didn't really end up being a boring year, despite the fact that I kind of missed out on a lot of events in the beginning. So it's pretty neat. I like it. And, uh, is there anything else to talk about? It's only quite naughty. There should be one for getting detention. Or maybe you have to get detention a lot of times. I don't know. Anyway, overall the game's interesting. Um, I guess... I mean, some of the complaints on the, the forums is about the graphics. Honestly, the graphics don't bother me that much. Um, in fact, if you if you make impulsive sta uh, reflexive statements like that, being like, the graphics sucks so the game is not, I can't play the game, you're not really helping the gaming in industry at all. That's Reflexive statements like that is reasons why we get shit for AAA titles nowadays. But um, I won't say this game is like the best game ever or anything ridiculous like that. Um, the game is it's indie, and so it's very limited. Um, as far as I can tell, there's only one writer for this game, um, so that means the uh, the amount of story there was is pretty much limited on the the facts of one writer. Which for one writer, there's quite a bit of stuff here. There's a lot of the different options and various little plots that go on that you can get access to. Um, the mat the the I guess you, uh, the term I heard was spreadsheet type games, which uh, or spreadsheet stat type games, which is where you have a bunch of stats and you just use training to build up all your stats and all that stuff, and you get certain results that way. Um, similar games that are considered spreadsheet type games, this game's like Princess Maker, and the, uh, pr well, the Princess Maker series, which is nothing but, um, you pretty much just, the game has like, the Princess uh, Maker series literally has no plot, it's just you have a character and you're just sending her to school or sending her to work and building her stats and then based off what stats you have at a certain at the end of the game it decides the the numerous endings and this one it's a little bit different the uh, the stats themselves don't exactly directly affect what uh, endings you get but it does affect certain things and i think it does it in a better way like having access to certain spells will allow you to do certain things during certain events which i think is a good thing um the exams are pretty neat um Unfortunately, there's not very many of them. The first exam was pretty much just a blow-off exam, and the final exam was kind of disappointing, because 
There wasn't really much going on in it. Um, I'm kind of glad I bought the uh, the protective gear because if I hadn't, I would have failed the exam. Because um, if you remember, the thing clawed me for 20 damage in total before I got teleported out. If I didn't have that item equipped, I would have. I only, I only had 20 hit HP um, without the item, so it would have killed. Her, it would have taken her down. But it's kind of neat because it has a lot of different options. I've already shown you guys some of the other answers if you guys bother to watch it. And um, I, as far as I can tell, if you do a spread of skills, you can still pass all the exams. If you focus entirely on one path of magic, you can still theoretically pass all the exams, supposedly. Um, so that's kind of neat. I like that. Um, it's it makes it so. It, it does feel like that uh, blue magic kind of has a little bit more advantage. They get a lot more variety of spells that help out in the, uh, all the tests. But for the most part, all of the other tests you can find an answer for. Um, like, you know, you can either build a bridge, or you can teleport a bridge, or you can... Supposedly, you can actually jump over the pit if you have certain, uh, certain spells or um, stats. So it's kind of neat. I like it. Um, the only, I guess the lacking part is just it's an indie title and it's made by literally only a few people. Um, that it, there's not very much to it. It's one, it's one semester, and um, I kind of I, I would love to see this game not really a sequel but kind of a, a remake where it's um, they polish up the stuff like the stat building and all that. Because right now you can max out two of your stats pretty easily, um, but something to like expand it a little bit more and maybe make it all four semesters of the school and see how that goes, because that would be kind of interesting. And then, you know, just go from there. Um, hopefully a lot of people are interested in this game, because these type of games are kind of interesting, um, but they're not, I mean, I can understand why not very many people are, in, are you know, care for them. But uh, this one has enough, at least, enough game for me to be interested. And even though it's kind of lacking in the gameplay in total, it, uh, the story was enough to keep me going, I guess. And I... And at first I thought I was not going to really care about any of the characters, but some of them are kind of interesting, even if they're a little uh, standard cliché and stuff like that. So, I don't know, I don't really have any issues with this game, it's not bad. I won't say it's fantastic, it's not perfect, but it's tolerable. So I, I don't really have any beefs about it. And it only cost me 10, 11 bucks or something. Um, and compared to other games where you only get... Uh, you pay 60 bucks and only get about 5 or 6 hours of gameplay. Paying 10 bucks or 11 bucks to get maybe, you know, a couple hours. Or a few, depending on how fast you read. It's not too bad. And this game actually has replayability. You can do all the, all the other stats. If you really want to, you can be a freaking achievement or It's pretty easy in this. You just build up the stats however you want. But, um, yeah. I, it's pretty neat. I like it. So, um... Well, don't worry, guys. I probably won't be doing another game like this anytime soon. Um, like I said, this is filling the blank for um, Civ, until the Civ 5 expansion comes out. And by the time you guys are seeing this, I'll probably already be starting on the videos with that. So, until then, for what few viewers are actually watching, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Um, oh yeah, and this is Magical Diary. I'm depressed to you are. See you guys.